Hi, thank you for tuning back in. Um, I have the uh, second Memorex box that I made as a gift. Um, I mentioned the last the last um, video that I had made two more, total of three. So I wanted to, let me just fix that camera. So I wanted to show you the other one. This one is a theme and it's Christmas theme. And um, I'm going to start by showing you the cards and then I'll show you the box at the end. Um, these boxes, you can find them in any craft store. Um, by me, I have a AC Moore and they have a, like a lot more of uh, different sizes and you know so they, like their their wood wood um, department is a lot bigger than Michael's anyway so here we go first one is the 25th which is Jesus's birthday joy to the world and I only put that one in the front because it's a Christmas gift but I, I've done from 1 to 31, I included the major holidays and a birthday one. Um, I did it this way again because they can reuse it over and over each month if they wanted to. So it's almost like a prayer box or a memory box. Um, okay, so the first one I made, this is burlap. Um ribbon and then that's the back now I don't recall doing all the fancy work on the back but here's a second one I think the first one I did the back the envelopes plain but then I made that one and this one flips open And this, this one has little gems and then that's the back I try to um, coordinate the envelope with the front tried hmm. is that so cute and then my teacup this one is miniature. Let's zip it in, enjoy the back. This one says Merry Christmas and you open it and it has a message. This one's another vintage Christmas horse. Or carousel. I like this one. Really cute. I will be home for Christmas. I should have placed an owl somewhere, but I didn't. Now, on these, I went back in with my markers and kind of uh, drew in details. I'm trying to keep them in order. Merry Christmas. That envelope I decorated. It's another one. Sorry if I come out of focus. I'm not even, I should be looking at the camera. Now these, I, this one I did from a card and then I layered it. You can't really tell, but here it's like kind of lifted. So yeah, I layered that one. That one was from a card too, and those were stickers. This one has a little quote. Kind of just hung it on there. I had so much fun doing these. These, uh, it took me a while, like two months, to make three, but I love. I loved it and I had a lot of fun creating each one because it was almost like they had their own personality. This one here was um, a tag and then that was part of a card. 
So I kind of you take your old cards and, and I think I don't let anything go to waste. So I like to recycle a lot. That one came out. I love the background. That's just the paper, but it looks like if it was like a, a house, an old house. The, uh, what do you call those? The, um, ugh, it'll come to me. Envelopes. This one, I just noticed this is my favorite. It's, uh, I don't know the name of it. See if you can read it. Is it in focus? Yeah. And it has three sizes. It has large, large, medium, and small. And I've had it for about a year and it's it's awesome. Then I did the see I went in and I did those dots inside the flowers. And I don't have an envelope here. So I'm glad that I'm showing you. As a matter of fact, I'll show you my envelopes. That's a great idea. Hold on a minute. So, these, I made these envelopes. So, I made a few of them, just random. So, what I do is I take the card and I try to come as close as possible to the color in the front and it seems like I don't have a purple but there's greens in it so perhaps nope that's card I think this one is like maybe the right here we can use this one so what I do is I take my scissors and I just cut up bit off just to make it smaller I get my if I can find it um, I should have been prepared I'm, my apologies right here found it I have a notch maker <laughs> so I go in this part I make a notch right then I don't glue it like this. I don't like gluing it like that. But before I start gluing it, I'll show you. I take this, I round off the corners, right? Then I take this, I open it up. These are my own envelopes, I right? made like these. And then I put them in the back. It's just much easier, much cleaner. And then I glue. Right. I also make my own glue. This um, I made videos early, earlier videos on how I make my glue, and then I just put it on here, and voila. This one I won't be decorating. Okay, let's move this to the side, and then this one. This was number. Four. 24, 25, 26. I decided to do all postage all around. <laughs> um, I am not really crazy about this one, but it is what it is. Um, you open it here. I think these are the only one that I'm not really crazy about. So see the button? I put the button on here so it holds it. And yeah, so let me know what you think of this one. What I used was wrapping paper. I wrapped the card and um, I don't know, I'm just not crazy. I feel like there's something missing. But anyway, then I did this one. Get a lot of um, glue gun webs. This is one of my favorites. More web. Huh. 
in the back. And this one. Oh, look, missing another envelope. Oh my goodness, I am so happy that I am showing you this and you are that interested in seeing my stuff. So again, I take the envelope, I just cut the edge off, do a notch. I'm going to try to do a medium setting. Go into the medium, round it off, flip those to the back. I mean, I was doing the, f the flaps inside. I'm holding the cap from the, from the glue, sorry. <laughs> I did the, um, the flaps at first inside, but I kind of like them inside because you can really see them and when they slip the piece of paper in there it won't get caught so that's what i found and then this one thank you guys because i noticed two of them i already gave this away oh my goodness what are missing we're two missing um pockets so thank you so much this is one of my favorite ones too little mouse little mousy um easter one see mm -mm 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 -mm. thank you guys so take another envelope now with these i said i just took out random um papers and I went into my um, scrap papers and because the envelopes aren't that big I got rid of a lot of um, scrap paper so that's why they kind of don't match because I wasn't looking you know I wasn't thinking oh let me match these up I wasn't really truly so uh, these are just random and there we go. Take the glue. I should be letting it sit on its side, and I keep forgetting, you know, because when it starts disappearing. Oh. So it's nice to do some of these envelopes ahead of time if you're planning to do something like this. So, okay, happy Easter. And then last but not least, I did this one is happy birthday time to celebrate uh, this was from a card um, this was one of my stamps um, so these two parts I just bought a, a cart for 50 cents in the Dollar Tree and I cut it up um, this was from a bag an old bag I cut it down put it in there um, this was just paper so and then the back so I kind of made it into a gift bag yeah so last but not least let's show you the um the box that's what the box looks like the the front of it and this is it, it, it i wish you can feel it it's i know it's plastic but it's like kind of fuzzy so i thought it was cute and then that's the side um the sides all of this it's not the box that's um napkins so I had wooded uh, shaped napkins and then these are just little wooden beads and what I did with them I just put um, um ink I, I just inked them up so yeah so that's my box that's a, a gift as a matter of fact for tomorrow we're having a, a little party so Anyway, um, I wanted to share this. I hope I have inspired you some way or made something a little bit easier for you to do. Um, so I have one more to show you. So that would be Mark uh, video number three. Um, the other one, um, I adjusted everything. The box, the Memorex cards, I, I 
adjusted the height, the width, everything, even in between. So, um, yeah.